All right, everybody, welcome aboard to Beachhead 2020. If you play Beachhead 2002, you may like this because this has much better graphics. As for playability, we'll have to see. There are a couple different modes, like the Rogue mode, or if you want to pronounce it Rouge. <laughs> this is a, one of the cool modes, is stuff that drops out of the sky you can get. You can just hop in and play right away. Let me show you the options real quick of how I've got it set. I have a GTX 1650 and I basically set it like this and it, I feel it runs pretty good. Sound, I had to turn it way, way down because it's really loud. And that's basically all there is in the settings. Let's get to it. So when you start out here, you get to choose a character. As you make more money and complete levels, you can buy other characters of higher quality. You can see what their primary weapons are because you can change these by hitting the one, two, three, four, five key on the keyboard. Look at these kind of guns they have. You have a Mark 19 grenade launcher. So this is what makes it a lot of fun. Personal weapons, not that it really matters. Accessories, you can get accessories like this. You can get air support, which is cool. Airdrops and artillery. You have all sorts of base damage multipliers and things like that. So it's kind of cool what you can do with this. A lot of playability and customization with the game. So here we go. This is my character and let's hit it. First battle is the intro battle. Later on you get these other ones as you break through and lock, unlock them. Look at what you can do. You can be Coast Guard and all this. They really added a lot to this game. And there's a lot of options. So this guy, once again, his weapons are the Bofors. I like this weapon for shooting big things like the ships, the tanks, uh, and all that. That's pretty good. You have the 50 caliber. Fire is kind of slow. The twin, which is nice. The minigun, which is absolutely devastating for taking out helicopters and things like that. I think it's great. There's also a Vulcan cannon, which is really good too. So you can see what the requirements are for the next level. And then there's a battle difficulty right here. And uh, this is how much you get for completing the thing. Okay, so this is your first boss you got to fight. Let's do it. It's going to take a little while to load, but the intention of this video is to give you an idea of if this game is worth it, $14.99 on Steam, or if it even is worth a download at all. You may not like it, but I think it's kind of fun if you like this kind of game and you just want to get in and do it. Okay, so here we are. We're starting out. It takes sometimes there's a little lag like that. We're starting out. We are on the uh, minigun right here, the Vulcan, and it can go ahead. We're going to, we can take down, here come the birds here. These helicopters, use them like this. Take them down. Helicopters, easy to take down, minigun. And I turned the sound down because it's kind of annoying. Uh-huh, I got him, I think. Let's switch to this. This is a double gun right here. Okay, will you sit still? Oh, he's flying around again. Pretty soon there's going to be some landing crafts. This is a little tank on the, the shore that's driving along. Uh, and that's pretty neat. It's a Cobra helicopter. Okay, let's get the Bofors. Here we go, Bofors. I just fire it like this. It takes about three shots. And let's get this on. And we're done with that. Very good. Single 50 caliber. And this one I like too because this is the tank on the ground, your own personal tank. We've got some stuff coming around here. Oh, there we go. Hit these things and get them. Get this guy. Uh, oh, that's our thing, our dropper. Get these. These are power ups. They're very important to get. Ah, oh, here we go. You got to go down. We don't want him alive. So it's, it's going to take a while to kill him, but it, he's there. Just stay with this gun. He goes down. There's, look at how much ammo this gun has got. Oh, okay. And then there's all these green men out here. Little green men that you just mow down. And that's all you do. Tank is nice. It just keeps moving. And right, you just follow this right here. I'm going to see if I can get through this level. And look at how good it is for spraying them down. It's got a good angle. Okay, let's get the Bofors back up. Get these guys. I got him. 
back on him. Back on this guy here. Okay, somebody's shooting at me. Oh, look at a tank. I mean, an amphibious vehicle. Can't have you coming to shore, but holy smoke, you're taking a lot of... There you go. Get this thing, get this guy. Got to get the air power out of the way. And where else? It's just, yep, over there. Where is he? Here he is. Let's reel him with bullets. Get that guy, get this guy here. It takes a long time to kill this guy. Let's get back on the bow first. And get these guys here. Okay, sink him. Three shots and it's dead. Let's go back to, let's use the minigun here. This thing is pretty badass. And music's annoying. Please blow up real quickly. There we go. Let's get some of these things. Get our power-ups. Let's get back to our uh, little minigun on wheels. This is a beach patrol. And you gotta get this guy. You're not getting anywhere. After you let off his buddies, you're going down too. This is kind of fun as you get this guy. Let's clear out the little green men. Just like that. And you're dead. Shred them up. And look at this thing. It's got the best shooting for this kind of range here. Just look at that. Still got plenty of ammo. Gun never overheats. Oh, we got company here. Oh. Try to take these guys out as best we can. Uh-huh. Uh, so now if you don't take them out, you got to fight that on top of everything. There we go. Let's get these things here. It's more health. Let's keep mowing them. Hey, you gotta, come on, just die, why don't you? And where are these guys here? You dare. Okay, so you can shoot them like this. Here we go. We got a bird in the air. Helicopter. Let's get the chopper. Lead it and destroy it. Yep. Who's next? Wow. And look at these guys. They're coming and coming. If you're real fast, you can do it. Ah, uh, take him out. Oh, wow. And this guy, I don't know what the secret to taking him out, but we're taking too many damage. We're going to be in trouble pretty soon, but hopefully we can get some of these nice power-ups. Oh, we didn't make it anyway. There we go. We did level up. Press tab to select. But unfortunately, we didn't make it through. It is still challenging to play here. And um, give it a try. Let me know what you guys think. Is it as good as 2002? Is it better? Do you like the graphics or whatever?